Are you in search of the best Arch based Linux distro? Endeavor OS is the must try Arch Linux distro that is easy to use and simple to install. Hey guys, my name is KSK Royal. So let's talk about the Endeavor OS, one of the fastest growing Arch based Linux distro. This is a quick overview of Endeavor OS. Also, at the end of this video, I will show you how to install Endeavor OS on your computer. Let's get started. The moment you are done installing Endeavor OS, this is the welcome screen you would be greeted. Now from here, you can update the system with one simple click. You can also update the emitter by changing to your nearest location that speeds up downloading the packages. Now it's time to talk about a Calamares installer. Endeavor OS comes with a customized installer that supports both offline and online methods. The default offline installation doesn't require any internet connection to install the OS. With offline installation, you will get an XFCE desktop with Endeavor theme. Now when it comes to online method, you can customize the desktop according to your fancy by installing your favorite desktop. Now along with that, the installer allows you to select and install additional software components like installing the custom kernel, printer support, and more. Now this gives a flexibility to an end user to take a full advantage of customizing the OS with your own taste. Now thanks to the Endeavor team for making the Calamers installer much better. Also, we have seen with the Calamers installer on other Linux distros, the boost.python error bothers during the installation. Well, this is not the case with Endeavor OS. With GNOME 40, Endeavor OS looks much better than ever before. The brand new desktop layout, horizontal workspaces, all new dock, system gestures, and more makes the overall user experience much snappier. Now tapping the super key on your keyboard reveals the workspaces overview along with the search bar on the top. Now with GNOME 40, the dock has been switched to the bottom to cope up with the horizontal layout. The app launcher has been redesigned from scratch where you can see all of the installed applications. Now, Endeavor OS with GNOME 40 provides a better smooth user experience to an end user. Now, everything is snappier from launching applications to switching between the workspaces. You can also use a system gestures to switch between the workspaces. This indeed speeds up the workflow. Like GNOME 40, you can also install in other desktop environments like KDE, Cinnamon, and more depending on your liking. Now compared to Manjaro, Endeavor OS comes with an Arch user repository that contains a fully tested software packages. You can install any package using a Pacman from the terminal. Now using this tool, you can perform all of the actions such as a installing, updating, searching, or removing the packages. Now unlike Manjaro or other Arch-based distros, Endeavor OS doesn't come with a flat pack or snap support. You need to install manually. Now likewise, out of the box, you won't see many applications installed and comes with a bare minimum applications. Now this way, the user gets a full control during the installation and install the software from scratch. If in case you want to install an NVIDIA driver, just run this command to install the compatible latest NVIDIA driver.
Now when it comes to the performance, definitely I would say Endeavor OS can easily run on any low hardware with at least 4 gigs of RAM and 2 gigahertz dual core processor with an SSD. It does the job fairly enough compared to the Manjaro. And there is no hiccups and no lag I have encountered. Everything was super smooth. Now lastly, let me show you guys how to install Endeavor OS on your computer. Go ahead and download the Endeavor OS from the link in the description down below and burn it to any pen drive using a Balina HR. Now make sure the pen drive should be at least 8 gigs or higher. Now once it's done, restart the computer and choose the USB installer from the boot menu to boot Endeavor OS live image. Now using this live image, I'm going to install the OS on my secondary drive. Now as you can see, this is the welcome screen. Just gonna go ahead and click on the install option. Now from here, you can either choose an offline or online install method. Now if you want a simple XFCE desktop and all other features, choose the offline method. And in my case, I would pick the online option. Now keep in mind, the online installation requires an internet connection to download the software. Now anyway, go ahead, choose the language and time zone from here. Now select the keyboard layout, then go ahead and choose the drive where you want to install Endeavor OS. Now in this case, I'm installing Endeavor OS on the brand new SSD. Once it's selected, choose the Erase Disk option and enable the Swap to File and click on Next. Now this is where you need to spend some time customizing the OS. The online installation offers a lot of options to be selected. Now by default, you can see the first option is selected, which adds a support for the basic functionalities like Wi-Fi, sound, graphic drivers, and more. Now apart from that, you can install the a desktop flavor according to your fancy. Now in this case, I would choose both GNOME 40 and Cinnamon. Now this way, during the login screen, I can switch between the desktops very easily. Now if in case you're having an HP printer, so you can add a support by installing the supported drivers. Lastly, I want to install an additional kernel with LTS support. And that's it. Now click on the next, create a brand new user account and install Endeavor OS. Now wait for some time, it depends on the selection of the software components, it will download and install automatically. This should take some time depending on the speed of your internet connection. Now once it's done, eject the pen drive and restart the system. And that's it. This is how you install the Endeavor OS on your system. Now overall, I would say if you are looking for the best Arch-based Linux distro, then Endeavor OS is the perfect choice that allows the users to customize the OS from scratch. With the online installation method, you get a full control to install the things you need. For beginners, installing the Arch Linux distro is tedious. Now instead, get an Endeavor OS and use an offline installation method to get started with your first Arch-based Linux distro. So let me know what you think about it. So let me know what you guys think about it. So if in case you like this video, hit the thumbs up button down there. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and consider hitting the bell icon to receive the post notifications. Thanks for watching this video. This has been KSKYL, signing off.